Hi, my name is Christina Hansen. I'm a doctor of physical therapy. I practice here at St. Mark's Hospital and I specialize in pelvic floor therapy. So people often wonder, what is the pelvic floor and what does it do? The pelvic floor can be considered like a hammock that supports the pelvic organs. It also creates stability around the pelvis, hips, and spine. It helps to usher babies into the world. It helps with sexual satisfaction, and it also helps with the control of urine and feces. So some common causes of pelvic floor dysfunction hormone changes in hormones with pregnancy or menopause. It can be genetic, so people who are more mobile in their joints tend to be more at risk. Um, traumas of various kinds, how much you exercise, how much you drink, and sometimes your body weight. All of those can be factors that can affect your pelvic floor function. So somebody that should come see a pelvic floor physical therapist, it could be a man or a woman, it could be somebody experiencing pain in their pelvic region. That could be pain with sitting, it could be pain with trying to go to the bathroom. It could be somebody that loses urine when they're not expecting to, like say when they cough, sneeze, or laugh, or when they're doing vigorous exercises. Hi, I'm Jamie Plackett, and I'm a licensed physical therapist here at St. Mark's Hospital that has specialty training in pelvic floor rehab. Although the signs of pelvic floor dysfunction are very common among women, they are not normal and they can be treated. So patients that come in for their initial pelvic floor examination will meet with a licensed physical therapist that has received specialty post-doctorate training in pelvic floor health. It will be about a 60-minute evaluation and um, there we assess your spine, pelvis, and do an internal pelvic exam. Based on the examination findings, we'll set up a plan of care that's individually characterized for your impairments.